Hello, welcome back to this course on working capital management. We have looked so far the overview of working capital, what are the elements of working capital and why do we want to manage the working capital. Now let us look at the advantages and disadvantages of having a very high working capital components or low components. So basically um, inventory the high levels have some benefits which is you, you can supply quickly you can uh, have less production days so you have some benefits but the cost of having a higher inventory is obviously a higher investment if you are taking loan from the from the banks or from government then you are using that money to keep the higher inventory which is not producing anything so you are paying unnecessary interest higher inventory also cause uh, high storage cost risk of getting out of the fashion risk of obsolene risk of thing shrinkage risk of spoilage so there are always risk and if let's say you have a very high competition for example fmcg fast moving uh, services there is a new brand there is a new version the older inventory is difficult to change so whenever uh, is a fast moving product for example apple if they keep a super high inventory of iphone 11 they will not be able to launch iPhone 12 because in that case the, all the inventory of iPhone 11 will go obsolete or they have to sell it at a very low price means they are not opti they will not be able to optimize their profit so uh, by that so their, their Apple is managing their inventory before they launch the new product so similar way whenever in manufacturing industry garments food whenever you are bringing a new product you have to ensure that the old inventory is consumed off so managing the inventory is very critical for a business success the low level of inventory however also have its own risk low level of inventory can cause shortages the people's customers may not get their goods and services in time so that may be a problem when you have low inventory levels especially when uh, there is a short term riot short term uh, setbacks in any country supply chain uh, disruptions for a shorter period of time you can be out of business if you don't have sufficient inventory level so managing an optimum inventory level is very crucial the benefit obviously is that it saves the cost of storage it saves the cost of financing it so there is a less and there is a less risk of obsolescence so that is all about the inventory how do we manage the inventory we're going to be looking at in our future sections now you have cash the cash benefit a uh, high level cash definitely gives a much sense of security that we have enough money and it gives confidence to suppliers it gives confidence to the people in large employees that we have enough we are cash rich we don't have to worry about anything but high cash comes at a high cost of return the, sub, the shareholders are not giving the money to business to keep in the bank account or to keep in their hands they want that to be invested or returned to them if, if you are generating a lot of profits that is why you will see many companies are doing share repurchase programs or paying off the dividend instead of keeping money into the business if they don't have any project or they don't have anything that they think they're going to use the money for low level of cash however increase the insecurity level in the business and also you may have to borrow for in the short term because you don't have enough money or enough liquidity in the business so it can increase it can increase the transaction risk every time you may have to borrow money but it does reduce the financing cost if the company has taken loan if the company has not taken any loan it does not uh, low level of cash does not save anything much because you are not paying anything out of it but it does reduce the cost of maintaining it what is the cost of maintaining the cash the cost of maintaining the cash is definitely insurance is security and other aspects you have low level means you have to low pay you have to pay low charges if you have high level you have to pay the high charges let's look at the other two components the other two components of the working capital is account receivable high level of account receivable shows that you have been maintaining your customers you have high customers you have high credit sales they can pay slowly but the problem is that it may cause more bad debts it may cause um, high collection cost it can increase your finance cost 
low level however signifies that you are not selling enough on credit or you may be losing out to your competitors so it means that um, you have to manage and say with the eye what is the industry practice is it really credit sale is required or we can work without it the benefit of this low uh, account receivable would be less financing cost let's uh, then you have payables and accruals the payables basically are your finance your suppliers which you have not paid so high level of this means your supplier can be unhappy or you may be deemed to be misusing or uh, the, your suppliers or arm twisting your suppliers the unhappy suppliers because they get they get paid slowly then you have low level of supplier means you are not using enough um enough of uh, enough of financing to support your working capital or you may not be taking full advantage or optimizing your ability to maximize your minimize your working capital so in that case you have to borrow money from somewhere else to finance your account receivable to finance your inventory or finance your cash so it may increase your financing cost and uh, the benefit the only benefit the customers are happy because you are paying them immediately so you may get some low prices you may get some cash discounts that can be the benefit but the company has to out the way okay which bet which way is better do we pay the suppliers and get the cash discounts or we don't pay the we don't we use the credit facilities but not not required with the cash discounts so that is all about the benefit and the risk of different working capital um, components we're gonna see you in the next videos for how to manage these components